Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago Season 11 discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something a little bit interesting regarding Zane's character in Season 11, which yes, I know Zane is probably one of the most interesting characters with any sort of story in the Season 11 saga for Ninjago, but there's still a lot more that I don't really understand about his whole, I guess, transition into evil. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, which if you don't, like, where have you been really? But Zane is more or less confirmed to be the Ice emperor at this point. I mean, a lot of people really, I guess, have accepted that theory, and a lot of hints have been dropped by Lego and other sources themselves that basically confirm that this is the case. So, of course, a lot of questions will be, I guess, brought up from this big reveal, and one of those, for at least to me personally, was how much of this actual fate for himself did Zane know? If Zane knew that he was going to be the Ice Emperor, did he go out of his way to go ahead and try to protect the other ninja? In my opinion, yes, he did. So, when Zane had his vision early on in Season 11, he saw the Ice Emperor, he saw other things from Season 11 as well, such as Asphira, the Forbidden Spinjitsu, I guess, hints, but something that he did, in fact, see was the Ice Emperor himself. Now, whether this means that Zayn was aware of the Ice Emperor's existence is unknown, but I think it's safe to say that he at least knew that he might fall down this path. Even if he did actually know that he was going to be, I guess, turned evil in that way, what would he have tried to do to, I guess, defend it? Or maybe he didn't try to go ahead and actually fight it off because he just figured, hey, this is destiny, this is fate, this is basically the person I'm about to be. And in doing so, he kind of shielded the other ninja off from that as well. He rescued Master Wu from being transported into the Never Realm, and of course, Esfira sent him instead with a scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu. So I wonder if when we actually get Zane's backstory, will Will he explain that he saw all of this coming the entire time? I'm sure he did see, of course, several aspects of the Ice Chapter in his vision, but the thing that I'm mostly curious about is how much did he actually know of his own future? Could he see a lot of his own future? A lot of that still remains to be seen, but I think it would be really cool to actually have Zane, you know, realize this entire time that, hey, I'm destined for evil. This is basically the path that I'm going to be going down. Of course, if he could see even further into the Ice Chapter, maybe he saw when the ninja would, I guess, turn him back to the good side. I mean, that's bound to happen eventually, right? A lot of things from the Ice Chapter really kind of line up and make a lot of sense to me personally, and a lot of things really kind of don't, but this is something that I would like to see actually happen. I think it'd be interesting for Zane to actually, you know, know a lot of his own future and for him to just basically accept it because that's basically what fate has given him. But of course, let me know down below in the comments what you think about this topic. Do you think that Zane knew that he was going to go down the path of evil, or are you still on the fence of accepting the theory that he is potentially the Ice Emperor? Do you still think that he's the prisoner, or do you think that he's actually the main villain? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, that'll just about do it for this one here, so thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating, and of course, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again, guys, the comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. In the description, you'll find the links towards my other forms of social media, whether it be my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon, or my merch. Be sure to support me on all those platforms if you would like to. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, I'm with that. I bid you farewell.